This is a Ford Fiesta 1.5 TDCI Titanium. It's the three door, so it's a sporty looking one, the, the one that uh, we're always asked for. Um, 2014 on a 14 plate, it has a uh, full service history, although it's been serviced by the owner, I'll, I'll show you uh, in a short while. Um, cars done 48,396 miles. Fuel economy, 64.2 urban. Extra urban is 85.6 and uh, combined 76.3. Not 60 time of uh, 13.5 seconds and a top speed of 104 miles per hour out of a 74 brake horsepower engine. Um, it will have a um, MOT on it from the 30th of this month, so it'll be uh, till the 29th of March 2019 and it's free road tax. Unsurprisingly with fuel economy figures like 85.6 that really is incredible. Great looking car, it's um, bright blue metallic and uh, I'm not sure, I think it might be called something like Deep Impact Blue but I might be imagining that so it's a, it's a metallic blue and it's got grey cloth with kind of a zigzag pattern uh, built up uh, sports seats very very comfortable and uh, just get a bit further away now I'll show you the service history it's uh, the first time we've come across this but uh, pre-delivery inspection in 2014 and then in February 2015 at 12681 uh, it's Motors Colver Limited and then 25th of the 1st 2016 again Motors Colville at 22789 and we go over the page 31st of the 3rd 2017 at 35407 full service at Staffs Test Centre and then less than a month later now Banks did used to buy a lot of Ford cars um, so I'm assuming they've bought it and they, they've also done a service so it was serviced twice uh, within a month at 36,010 that was just an oil service so full service in, and it's had the oil changed again there then we go on to something we've just come across here owner service with genuine parts so obviously um, if you buy all a, a, a service kit from Ford they will uh, stamp the book to say that you're going to service it yourself and that was done on the 28th of the 1st 2018 at 47,115 um, so I think they've possibly got carried away because it's a schedule maintenance record, service record, um, I think uh, they perhaps got too many pages but still prefer this to the uh, stupid digital service histories they have these days you can't beat a service book with stamps in and that's a great idea from Ford as well if you want to service the car yourself they'll give you a stamp just to prove it's been done and that you bought the parts from Ford so good idea Ford I'll just take you for a ride in it make sure everything's switched on I managed to do a test drive yesterday without two of my cameras switched on so here we go great little cars they drive great look great and uh, everything you could possibly need in here it will have Bluetooth and I'm pretty sure it will have audio streaming I'll test that when we get back and uh, show you how to do it it's got air con um, little cars in the old days used to be few and so disconnected few and far between with power steering and aircon of course it's uh, all pretty much standard these days but uh, lovely sports steering wheel multifunction steering wheel with your phone controls and volume controls for your radio on the left and uh, cruise control on the right you've got now I think yeah we've got uh, that's unusual for a, a small car we've got uh, 
folding door mirrors, power folding door mirrors. Let's just flip that over. The electric ones, electric operation. Both them work. We've got a heated front screen, which I always say should be standard in all cars. Um, it's a great feature, very, very handy in the winter. And uh, you never see Ford drivers looking through a little letterbox on the windscreen. All the, the windscreen's always clear. Should be standard. Great, great idea. Got front central armrest with storage there. Two cup holders. We've got a power socket here with, uh, rather than, again, the stupid plugs that pull out and get lost and then you've got a cigarette lighter hole in your gear tunnel. This has a folding flap on a spring. Next to that, auxiliary in. Sorry, yeah, auxiliary in. And next to that, USB in. Diesel engines, really, really good. Give plenty of low end torque, so uh, pull away from low gears. Don't rev as high as a, a petrol engine, but to be fair, you don't need to, and, and that's how you get the longevity and also the uh, fuel economy. Um, and of course the emissions are so good, everybody's moaning about emissions on diesels, but the emissions on this is so good that the road tax is free. Diesel's also a lubricant as well, so your engine lasts longer than the petrol. Um, it would appear to be the natural choice of fuel to me, but what do I know? So CD radio, it does have Bluetooth hands-free. Uh, very comfortable to drive, very quiet. Just yep, windscreen wipers all good. Rear wiper works too. I'll try the electric windows. Passengers okay. Seats holding you in place as you go around corners. Yep, driver's side works great. Really good gearboxes in Fords. Very, very slick. Nice light clutch. Lights have changed here, so I'll just... Um, That's the height and reach adjustable steering wheel. So yeah, height, reach. It's probably never been moved since the day the car was bought. Handbrake nice and tight as well. Side and the headlights on the right, click the indicator away from you for main beam or pull it towards you to flash. Great engine this Ford diesel. Brakes in a nice straight line. I'm thinking 
No, that's okay. I, I thought it was pulling to the right a little bit. It could be the tyres, tyre pressure. It could be, um, it could be tracking. One of the things I would like to see if the owners do service them themselves is um, if they made a note of the type of oil they use it, it is quite important in a diesel, um, especially for cars with DPF filters because they do get clogged up if you use the wrong oil and it can become a problem. Considerate lorry driver there letting us out. I thought this chap would pull out, but no. So 70 miles an hour, just over 2,000 revs. switch in the middle there, set, off, cancel or resume and set minus so you can increase your speed just clicking that top button there like so or decrease it by knocking the bottom button. down a bit, nippy little car. So 70 miles an hour, nice and quiet. No vibrations through the steering wheel at all. No growls from anywhere or rattles. Nice quiet car. This one's also got, I'm led to believe anyway, um, a body kit, a factory fitted body kit on, which um, involves a front and rear uh, bumper spoiler, or uh, additions to the bumper around the bottom, and also side skirts. Again, discrete side skirts, not like, not like something you'd see on, I don't know, one, Fast and Furious. front and rear heated screens there and uh, digital display air conditioning automatic climate control auto mode on just just very very nicely finished Fords and I think I'd have to say out of the uh, bread and butter cars um, I, I think Fords probably drive the best and uh, certainly I think the gearboxes are the best. Ford very kindly invited me to a, a track day at um, Cholmanley, the uh, pageant of power. They put me up in a hotel and took me to uh, Cholmley Castle. Unfortunately it was free champagne 
and then I felt dreadful the next day, so I didn't get to drive, or I, I could have driven the uh, new Fiesta ST around the track there, but uh, I felt worse for wear. I could do with some more invites if Ford are watching. Hospitality is certainly second to none. And <laughs> I'm not just saying that the gearboxes and everything are great either, because they uh, they invite me to things. It's uh, it's the truth. few other manufacturers invite me as well. So we've got a little fuel computer in the centre there, rev counter to the, to the left, speedo to the right, fuel gauge at the bottom and at the top we've got a, a fuel computer. That's uh, showing how many miles before you need to fill up. Average miles per gallon, instantaneous miles per gallon. Got a nice piano black finish around the radio and also the climate control and uh, on the gear tunnel. Electric window switches here and on the passenger door card. Excellent handling. adjustable seat here, just jacks up and down. is a nice car, great colour combination.
think this is probably the first reasonable run this car's been for a, a good while. So I certainly won't do it any harm. Quite a nice car in front, a Lexus RX 450H. We've just sold one. I used it for a while. A hybrid. But uh, it's still only got probably uh, half as many miles to a gallon as this does. Revoke convertible there, nice looking thing. Also, just as it came in, uh, we haven't cleaned it yet. As you can see, it's uh, pretty immaculate inside. Showing there, 67.1 average miles to the gallon. Here we go. 